Hello students, in this video we'll discuss Rolle's Theorem. So Rolle's Theorem states the following. It states that if f is continuous on a closed interval and differentiable on the open interval with f of a being equal to f of b, then there is a point c in the interval a to b such that what? Such that f prime of c is equal to zero. Okay? And so how do we prove Rolle's theorem? So the proof goes as follows. Proof. So since f is continuous on AB, f of AB is compact, since AB is compact. So f attains its maximum on AB. Okay. Now there's, uh, so one of two things can happen. If the maximum is attained at the interior, on the interior of AB, then by the interior maximum theorem, by interior maximum, theorem, we know that F prime of that C will have to be zero. So at an interior maximum, the derivative will have to be zero. Now let's suppose the maximum occurs at either A or B on the boundary. Without loss of general, we can assume it occurs at A, right? So if F of A is the maximum value, then one of two things can happen. Either the function is always less than that, either f of a is equal to f of x for all x between a and b. That can certainly be the case, in which case the function's constant, then f is constant. And that will imply that f prime is, is always equal to zero. f prime of x is equal to zero on the whole interval, or otherwise, if f of a is not equal to f of x, that says that there are there's a minimum point in between a and b. Otherwise, we uh, the minimum of f occurs on the interior. Indeed, because if f of a is not equal to f of x, that says that f of x, since f of a is the maximum, will be less than f of a on the, what? On the interval for x between a and b. And then we know that f also attains its minimum, and so its minimum value by the same reasoning, so then we can say occurs at the interior, and so then by the by interior minimum theorem, which is basically just the interior maximum theorem just reverted, interior minimum theorem, Um, f prime is equal to c, where c is the minimum value, where c is the point where the minimum is attained. And that proves Rule's theorem, which would be very useful in a lot of different applications. Thank you very much.